Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time stopping by, I am Lady Pavo, also known as Luna Lamonte, and this is your May 2021 love reading. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your seventh house placement. If you are a divine masculine, you can also check your Mars placements as well. So just keep in mind that this is a general reading. This will not resonate with everybody. So if it resonates, that's wonderful. And if it don't apply, let it fly. Roles can be reversed and energy is not gender specific. So if I say a masculine energy, I'm talking about a more authoritative energy. And if I say feminine energy, I'm talking about a more submissive energy. So before we get into your reading, I wanted to give a shout out to a special friend named Jamie. She was so sweet and uh, gifted me a few gifts for the baby. She gave me a really cute uh, tie-dye onesie along with a tie-dye bib that she made by herself, handmade, and it was wonderful. My little guy loved it. But she also gave me these customized um, Palo Santos. So I just wanted to share with you guys the brand, okay? It's called Burner Vibes. And she got these customized for me and I really, really love these Palo Santo sticks, all right? So definitely check out this wonderful artist and also check out my good friend, Jamie. But I'm going to drop all of her information down below and I'm also going to post some of her artwork in the video so that you guys can see the beautiful tie-dye items that she makes, okay? So shouts out to you, Jamie. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get right into your reading. Hello, my lovely Capricorns. This is your May 2021 love reading. I already pre-shuffled all of your cards, so we're gonna dive right in, all right? Actually, I did not pre-shuffle the tarot, so we'll get into the nectar of the reading after we go over your oracle. So what I thought was really significant about your love reading is that a lot of your cards came out unrevealed, okay? So we're going to uncover these messages with each other, all right? So the first card that you have out is yin and yang energy. So right now, you could be trying to find balance, okay? Maybe you're trying to find balance with yourself, with your loved ones, okay? Trying to find that divine masculine and feminine energy, all right? With the number 2-2, two, two, that gives you the number 4. So this could be with the foundation, okay? This can also be with, um, you know, the structure of your home, your schedule, your everyday life, all right? But ultimately, I see that you're trying to make a decision, all right? And hearing that background noise of construction, again, trying to build a solid foundation. We're not going to let that background noise stop us all right so we're gonna take that as a synchronicity so i see three fours here okay because two fours with the eight and then the number four here so calling on to your ancestors your spirit guides your ascended masters to give you the guidance that's needed to find this balance okay ma'at all right but spirit is letting you know that with the angel of love that you need to treat yourself with love you need to treat yourself with this nurturing energy, okay? And be um, more gentle with expressing yourself, okay? Dealing and handling people with more passion and compassion, all right? And once you do this, you're going to be able to attract somebody who is giving you this reciprocal energy. This is also to me, husband energy, all right? If you're a divine masculine, this is, you know, mothering energy and this is that divine masculine energy. So this husband and wife, this could be a couple. And I see the number nine here. Again, the number nine, four, and five. And then we have the number four. So, you know, asking spirit to step into your relationship and give you guys the guidance, all right? I think that's very significant for you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, with this third chakra, the solar plexus, so working on understanding that you have to strengthen your willpower in order to work on a connection, 
okay? You can't run away from a connection. If you really want to build with somebody, you need to work on yourself first so that your relationship runs more smoothly, okay? With the number 10 here, seven plus three is 10. So that's letting you know that when you're closing out cycles, you need to be more patient because I see this impatient energy, okay? You could be feeling impatient because, um, you know, again, somebody is really contemplating on um, if this is what they want. Should I leave and try to find balance on my own? Or should I stay with this person that, you know, can potentially give me this happy family, all right? Four can be very significant to you at this time, all right? Because we have the number 47, the number 11. So this is, you know, the, the gateway, okay? The gateway to love, the gateway to whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, change, whatever you're trying to attract, okay? Yeah, I see that you're trying to heal your heart space, all right? And be more grounded in yourself, all right? Cats can be very significant to you, all right? I don't know, I get the messages, all right? Let them apply to you in the way that it does, all right? So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And this came out sideways. So this is what you need to do right now, okay? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So trust the process. Everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens in divine order. Finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you may be really contemplating on what direction you should go in with your finances. Maybe you're feeling out of balance with your finances. And this could be what is um, throwing you off balance. Maybe your finances is affecting your love life, okay? So Spirit is letting you know that if you're contemplating on leaving a job that no longer serves you, then it is time for you to free yourself, okay? So it is time for you to take control of your life. So yeah. And then we have make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so I'm hearing that if you are dealing with somebody here who is not good with their finances and that is bringing you down, um, it is time for you to make the effort to release this individual and step into, you know, this place of new love, okay? Now, I'm also feeling like if that's not your story, that maybe you need to free yourself from self-doubting thoughts when it comes to your love life, okay? If you place your value on how much money you have, you're always going to be um, unsatisfied. So learning to be more gentle with yourself and you know, working on um, reconciling with somebody that you really are invested in, okay? Yeah, and trust the process. I'm hearing that, um, you know, with this new love, it could also be a new love in what you're passionate about when it comes to work and finance, okay? Because I feel like when it comes to your finances, you're really, um, you're really being hard on yourself. And it's, it's affecting your love life. And then because your finances is not where you want it to be, now it's making you second guess the romantic partner you're with. I just feel like you're jumping the gun. All right. So let's get into your self-care cards. All right. As we are transitioning and healing ourselves, I always assign homework because I want you guys to know exactly where you should be focusing your energy to help heal yourself because this can help your romantic life as well. So at the bottom of the deck, we have be still. Okay, so, you know, being still, connecting with earth, okay, and journaling can be very helpful for you. We have being in sync with the moon. So paying attention to those moon cycles 
reflecting on yourself. Like take this time. Wow, this really goes hand in hand. And then clarifying the journal, we had burning bowl ritual. So let's let's get right in, okay? So grounding yourself, taking off your shoes, taking off your socks, and putting your bare soles of your feet into the soil, into the grass, into the sand, whatever, okay? Putting your feet on the ground barefoot and earthing can be very helpful for you, okay? Going out in nature, paying attention to the moon, okay? Connecting with earth. You are earth sign. So you may need to connect with earth a lot more than others, okay? Being still, being present, and journaling. How do I feel when it's a new moon? How do I feel when it's a quarter moon? How do I feel when it's a waxing gibbous? when it's a waning gibbous? How do I feel when it's a full moon? Jotting this down, writing out what no longer serves you and burning it, trusting your intuition and watching a movie can be very helpful for you. Okay, again, with this cat here, I keep seeing this cat. So maybe you need to connect with Bassett, okay? Yeah. All right, let's get into the nectar of the reading with the tarot and see what spirit has to say to my lovely Capricorns for the month of May 2021. And if you're not familiar with Bassett, she is a comedic goddess, okay, that is signified by the black cat, which signifies good luck, okay? We're taught that black cats are bad luck, but actually... They signify prosperity, um, regeneration, so many beautiful um, things. So look into Bassett and connecting with her. We have the Eight of Swords. So you're freeing yourself from any type of mental blockages, anything that you may be addicted to, okay? Anything that you feel is setting you back, okay? I feel like you're not trusting that you are well equipped for whatever you are trying to approach. I feel like you're being too passive and you're not taking action. You need to communicate what it is that you want. Two eights coming here. When you communicate what you want, what's blocking you, once you free yourself from this and communicate quickly and go for whatever it is that you want, you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Yeah, I see that you're holding back and you're trying to move away from things that no longer serve you, okay? But Spirit is letting you know that you already have the wisdom, the knowledge to um, wove a healthy, happy family structure. Um, this is also, for me, you know, direct deposits, okay? The Three of Pentacles, because as you give, you receive. So this could be a new contract and work, so a contract with your love life. You know, you could be solidifying your romance. You could be getting married, engaged, okay? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you could have um, Sagittarius placements in your chart. You can have a Sagittarius Venus, okay? Because this is a very similar cards to Sagittarius and I shuffle these cards well all right so it's not because I didn't shuffle but these cards came out in very similar placements so no longer competing no longer feeling like you're um set back okay in the workplace wow yeah so it's time for you to go towards what you're passionate about okay uh what you're emotionally compatible with all right, woving together this family structure that you know you truly deserve, okay? I'm hearing a daughter, okay? You may have a daughter or you may be, um, you know, you may be wanting a child in the future, okay? This gives me, you know, motherly vibes, children vibes as well. You know, she's in fetal position, okay? I'm seeing a daughter. I'm seeing two daughters really, but I'm seeing a daughter specifically, all right. So I hope these messages were helpful. Oh, another message that I'm getting, 
you have the number seven. Okay, so putting in work. Okay, this is meaning that you're not using your defenses. You're not using your um, tools to communicate what you want. But you're at a place where you could be recovering. You could be recovering from self-doubting thoughts, abuse. Okay, I'm hearing that somebody could be coming out of the hospital or somebody could be recovering from a uh, illness. But I see that you're going to be moving forward with your life, moving um, towards things that you feel is going to heal this uh, broken heart energy. All right, so let that apply to those that needed that last message. But I hope these messages resonated. If you feel that they did, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And hit the bell notifications down below so you can get notified for when I post new videos. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.